Also, if you look at that, so it's also a doctrine, foundation of faith. We, it's not doctrine like, you know, this doctrine of this type of religion or anything like that. We're talking about biblical doctrine. And what does the Bible say? So we're going to look at verses because we want our foundation of faith, our belief to lay in, in the Word. Not in what we or anybody else say, but what the Word say. Now there's a lot of verses. It depends how fast we can, can go through the course, if we can read all the verses. But in the beginning, I'm going to read the verses and I'm going to give you exactly what it means next to it. You will see on the left-hand side, we will give this on the right-hand side. So, let's quickly look at Genesis 1 verse 1. God created all things. The proof that God created everything. We need to get the word from that. Um, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Romans 1 verse 20, that's in the New Testament. For the invisible things of Him since the creation of the world are clearly seen, being perceived through the things that are made, even His everlasting power and divinity, that they may be without excuse. With other words, there's a reference in the Old Testament and the New Testament. And we know that the New Testament, we've got Jesus Christ. So, in the Old Testament, it's God, but we know that it's also Jesus Christ. So it's unity, if, I can, if we can call, give a word to it. Okay? Unity in the three persons of Christ, but it's one God. So God created, through creation, you see His invisible qualities, His internal power from the beginning till the end, revelation. His eternal power, His divine nature. We can look as we go on with this course, we will see the divine nature of Christ. But Psalm 19 verse 2, God is past, present and future. He's not different in the past and going to be different in the future. He's the same yesterday, today and tomorrow. He's always the same God. Otherwise, if we could just change it, he could just say, okay, I'm just smashing up everything and all the promises and I'm going to change. So God is not changing. Before the mountains were brought forth, or even thou hadst formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. From ever to ever. From ever to ever. Lord sitteth as king from ever, he hath prepared his throne for judgment. So God exists before creation. So he was already before creation. He was there. What he did before and where he was, we don't know. Because man had a beginning and an end. God does not have a beginning and an end. That means that God is ever. He's always there. And that we cannot really understand. But that is what it is. He was and will be. That's eternal life. Will be forever. He will be there forever. The second point. Right. So we go to all things are possible for God. He's omnipotent. Matthew 19 verse 26. And Jesus looking upon them said to them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. There's a lot of things we can't do, but God can do everything if He wants. So you can just do that and He can do it. Okay? Look, for no word from God shall be void of power. The narrative about Lazarus rose from the dead. It is, he's got the power. That's, he's got the power. Because God created all things, He has all power over them. Because He created everything. Therefore, over man, humanity, He created us. He's got the power over us. And what is today's life people doing? You've got the power over yourself. It's not true. God's got the power and He's got the final say. Not we or I. Okay? God knows all things. He's omniscient. He is everywhere omnipresent. He's omniscient. He's omnipresent. He knows everything and He's everywhere. Satan can only be at one place at a time. God can be by all of us all the time. He's in all of us through His Spirit all the time with us. Satan cannot do it. He needs evil spirits to help him. Okay? So we talk about evil spirits and demons. It's two different categories. And then Satan himself. 
the eyes of the Lord are in every place, keeping watch upon evil and good. He's looking at both sides. But Psalm 139, whither shall I from the spirit, or whither shall I flee? Where to? From the presence, if I ascend up into heaven, thou art thee, I'll make my bed in Sheol, behold, thou art there. Matthew, but this very hairs of your head are all numbered. He's there. He's omniscient and he's omnipresent. So we know the three omniscient, omnipresent, omnipotent. He's there. He sees everything. He's always present. He knows everything. He will always be. God knows our hearts, our feelings, what we believe. We cannot hide from Him. Doesn't matter how hard we try, we cannot hide. Adam and Eve. They was asked, where are you when they hide? When they did, actually, it was fasting. But where are they? Where are Adam and Eve? They were hiding. Yeah, okay? They were hiding. They prayed and said, Thou Lord, which knows the hearts of all men, show these two that one whom thou hast chosen. Search me, O God, and know my heart, Try me and know my thoughts and see if there be any way of wickedness in me and lead me in a way everlasting. Look at me, God. Help me. Look where I'm weak. Help me. Give me strength that I can change because He is with us. He's in us. He's here. He will help us. He's there. He believes. He knows our hearts. God can see everything. And there is no creature that is not manifest in his sight but all things are naked and laid upon before the eyes of him with whom we have to do but peter said ananias why has satan filled thy heart to lie to the holy spirit and to keep back part of the price of the land whilst it remained did it not remain thy own and after it was sold, was it not in thy power? Why did I lie? Why didn't you say you will only keep a little bit and give a little bit? Why is it you say you will give everything but you keep a little bit in secret back? Don't lie. Be honest from the beginning. How is it that thou hast conceived this thing in thy heart? Thou hast not lied unto men, but unto God. And Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and gave up the ghost. So he died. And great fear came upon all that heard it. And the young men arose and wrapped him around, and they carried him out and buried him. Don't lie. Be honest. Rather be honest than lie. As I always say with my previous people um, helping me in their house and things, be honest. If there's something wrong or you break something, tell me. Don't let I find out you broke or took something or anything. That is where the secret lies in course that's automatically you in yourself will know. If you find out something wrong, you will have a little bit of anger. Mm. Okay? Don't lie. It's not God given to lie. You cannot hide anything from God. You cannot lie to God. The Holy Spirit and God are one. That we now see they are one. Therefore, God hates sin. God is holy. We cannot be holy. But in Christ, in us, God sees Christ in us and that makes us holy. Otherwise, God wouldn't be able to communicate or to look at us. But we are not seen as a holy person. Only Christ was holy on earth. That got a divinity. And one cried under another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of His glory. Who shall not fear, O Lord, and glorify thy name? For thou only art holy, for all the nations shall come and worship before thee, for thy rightness acts have been made manifest. Holy means to be separate from sin. We are not separate from sin, but we are holy in Christ. 
that makes us separate of, from, from sin because we are saved by grace. That makes a difference between a person that's not saved and a person that's saved. We are saved in grace and made holy through Christ, where the other person, if he's not by Christ, you do not have that holiness. You do not have Christ. You do not have that grace. So, God wants man to be holy to allow no evil. But like as he which called you is holy, be ye this yourselves also in all manner of living, because it is written, ye shall be holy, for I am holy. Okay, so you do understand the fact that I say through Christ you are holy. And if Christ is in you, you are holy. And therefore, you're going to work against sin. For thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness. Evil shall not surround with thee. The arrogant shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them that speak lies. The Lord Upheareth the bloodthirsty and deceitful men. Remember that. Or man. Remember that man is uh, shown to the woman and the man. In today's talk we talk about the woman and the man. But in the biblical terms the word is translated from humanity. So that means the female and the fellow, humanity. So everywhere where we see this deceitful man, everywhere they say, right, we're not focusing on the, on the males only, we're focusing on you, man it, all of us, not only the one. God is righteous in all his ways. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and gracious in all his works. That is straight word forward said, okay? He's righteous. God is just and gives justice. The, for the Lord loveth judgment and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever. Preserved, sorry, forever. But the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. The seed of the wicked shall be cut off. They're going to be pushed one side. The hay will be separated right. from each other. Okay. And it came to pass that the beggar died and that he was carried away by the angels into Abram's bosom and the rich man also died and was buried and in Hades, that's a place of waiting mm. that is what the word Hades means, it's a place of waiting he lifted up his eyes being in torments and see Abram afar off and Lazarus in his bosom and he cried out said, Father Abram have mercy on me and sent Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water. That already tells us there's tormented, there's heat, there's fire, okay? Mm -hmm. He's thirsty. I cool my tongue, for I am in, in anguish in this flame. But Abram said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receivest thy good things, and Lazarus in like manner evil things, but now here he comforted and thou art in anguish just the opposite so if you live on earth in all fantastic ways but you do not have God mm. you're going to be just the opposite you're going to be just the opposite this is evidence God's judgment is to punish sin and reward righteousness that is very clearly said in the Bible through Jesus himself, okay? The two is very clearly said. God loves man, God our Father in heaven. He's our Father in heaven. There's no, there's no perfect Father on earth or any Father on earth who is equal in God. God created us. Yes, our Father and Mother created us through sea. But who created the Mother and the Father? In the first place by Adam and Eve. God, He's the Father. He created us. Who's looking after us? God. Where we go to after death? To God. So who's the Father? God. He's our Father. He's our real Father. He's our because our flesh is just a little uh, vehicle, if I can call it like that, a little vehicle that our soul is 
transported in on earth. But as soon as we pass on, that body is going to decay. And we're going to go if, to our soul and say to God, or oh, is perishing that I want, want, don't want. Really, I don't want to be there. Matthew, after the manner, therefore, pray ye, O Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Is that true? He is perfect Father, he will give to his children who ask. Doesn't ask, help to ask for a BMW and a big cost of a house and a lot of money? I can guarantee you. If you are not qualified to bring in that money, you will not get the money if it's not God's will. But now what happened? If we get the money in God's will, we must be careful. Because a lot of time, we then tell the I've got the money, I can do what I want to. And that's just there where we go astray. Because we've got money. So be careful for that. We can have money. David King was rich. And he was still with God, Solomon. But now Jesus was on earth, he was just the opposite. He was a carpenter's son. He didn't live in a castle and have a thousand horses and carriages that pulled him around. So they can be both. He is a perfect father, he will give to his children who ask. If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him? Ask him for spiritual knowledge, and I can guarantee you he will give it to you. Ask him for wisdom in the Bible, and I can almost guarantee you he will give it to you. If you go into wisdom and you start like you're studying now, that's wisdom. Mm -hmm. I can almost guarantee you, oh no, almost I can guarantee you, if you step forward to get wisdom in God, He will give it to you. But it's not to say if you're going to go on saying you're going to go to wherever, America, to get rich there because you're going to go as a pastor over and you're going to get rich there. <laughs> and that is a laughing matter. It cannot be guaranteed. And that is where our pastors in today's life, a lot of them will are, are have um, uh, questions like, how can you get rich through a pastor? A pastor is not there to get rich. Because he's a follower of Christ and he's giving the word. Mm -hmm. He's a disciple. If God gives you a church in the right manner and not lying like a lot of our churches in today's life are saying, yeah, if you do this and this and this, you will be blessed. Give money, 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 and you will be blessed. And that is where they get their profit down from. God will judge them. God will judge them. Be not therefore anxious, saying that uh, uh, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewith shall we be clothed. For after all things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye had need of all things, but seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Why is the word Gentile specifically given there? Remember. Like our religions today, we find different religions. Now, in the Jewish culture, there was also, you cannot say Jew, and it's all the different uh, categories of, of the Jews. But they were reaching out to us. Remember that. The apostles were reaching out to us. Matthew, for instance. They were Jews. They knew what the whole story is all about. They lived, they grew up with God. They came to the Gentiles that was actually already adults or would still have to grow up, but it was new Christians with new converts. That is why they say, things do the Gentiles. Seek for your heavenly foreign earth. With other words, clothes and food and things like that. First seek God and the rest will come. If you work in the right way. The necessary needs will be added up and helped. If you know, in today's life, I constantly say today's life, but that is what's happening. Um, 
we will seek first we want food and clothes and but if you sit a bit backwards and you think of okay i've got a woods account for instance that is actually a privilege think about it why do i need woods account why can't i just go and buy my pet that's cheap why do i need to put out food steaks meat why can't i just take a cheap piece of meat if i want meat that is actually a privilege you have that's a privilege it's not a must think about it it's not a must it's a privilege the house we live in is a very 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 big privilege we have to stay in this house god loves his children he that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. We know God is love. He is just love. But with his love is judgment. Because we've got the jealous God. So remember, with his love there's judgment. If you go astray or you do things against his will, you will be judged. But God commandeth his own love toward us. Commanded. In that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Think a bit about it. He's died. He, we weren't even born. We weren't even fought yet. 2,000 years ago. He died for us. He died for us already. John 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world, and this you must know, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth on him, should not perish, but have eternal life. If you believe in Christ, and you do what He asks you to do, you will be saved. You will have eternal life. That's His promise to us. Okay? If you love God, if you love somebody, you will do what that person wants you to do. Isn't it so? Mm -hmm. To please Him. More greater for Christ, for what He did for us. He, God gave His Son, His only begotten Son, for us, for our sin. God loves all human beings. He gives His great Father love and provides. If we truly stand in His Word, He will provide. We've got people going on missions that doesn't have anything. But there's always food for them. People that's nice with them. If you look at the... At the the apostles, how they went from town to town, they didn't have anything. God said, don't even pack a bag or extra shoes. Okay? That's, that's in the word. God created man in his image. God created man in his image for fellowship. Not for any reason. Not for going and have a fantastic life or do your own thing on earth. The original reason why Adam and Eve were created was to be in fellowship, to worship God, to be, as there's a place in the New Testament to say, He's our friend. But, with the fall of sin, if we can say it like that, everything was messed up. God remained man in His image, Genesis 1, 25 to 27, and God made the beast of the earth, after His kind, its kind, and the cattle of a their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the ground of the, its kind. And God saw that it was good. And God said, let us make man in our image. In the first place, in our image. So there was already the three persons of God, and that was already in Genesis. In our image, not in my image, in our image. So that already shows you God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl in the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creepy thing that creepeth upon the earth. And God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Both of us is in the image of God. Male and female. Not only male and we are animals as females. We are both in the image of God. We are both. One A. Therefore, man can think, learn, and gain knowledge. 
That is what the image of God is. God's image is not that you look like God. God's image is that you can think, you can create, you can do things. Okay? You can think, you can learn, you can gain knowledge. Proverbs 2 verse 6, For the Lord gives wisdom out of his mouth, commands knowledge and understanding. Number 1b, wisdom, knowledge and understanding is given by the Lord. As I said, if you ask for wisdom, he will give you wisdom. He will help you to gain wisdom. Okay? So he won't just leave you. Wisdom, knowledge and understanding. That is all fine falling in the same type of ground. If you've got the wisdom, you will have the knowledge and you will understand it. Okay? Therefore, to a therefore, man can make decisions as he will and choose what he will or wants to do. If this, if, if this uh, sin committed is nobody else's uh, fault, it's your own fault. You choose to say yes to, to Satan or the evil spirit deceiving you, it's your fault. You say yes or you say no. It's nobody else's fault. It's not the, oh, there's a lot of people, oh, Satan uh, uh, deceived me again and that's why I sin. Uh -uh. You are the one. You got the right. You're the image of God to say yes or no. I called heaven and earth to witness against you this day that I have set before thee life and death, the blessing and the curse. Therefore choose life that thou mayest live, that thou and thy seed, with, our, with other words, witness against you day, that I will set before you eternal life or eternal death. The blessing of being with God or the curse of being with Satan at the end. Therefore, choose life, choose eternal life. Okay? That thou mayest live, thou and thou see, because automatically you will teach your children and you will go on and go on and go on. That is what it is. Both. To be, he gives you the choice between. Life and death between God's blessing and His curse and heaven and earth is called to witness your choice. There's a witness. Okay. For the eight, therefore man has feelings, feel happy, sad, joy, sorrow. In John 15 we read, These things have I spoken unto you that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be fulfilled. But if you've got Christ in you, it doesn't matter how difficult, there's just a, a, a different type of still joy and happiness here inside you, knowing that the test is hard. But there's something to look forward to. It doesn't matter what happened to you, there's a step out. And the joy is deep in the heart because you've got something special that a lot of other people doesn't have. You get that joy, that inside joy of Christ. 3b. Feeling such a being happy, sad, joy, and sorrow are in you. That feelings. Jesus was sad when Lazarus died. Okay, he was sad. He expressed his feelings. For I therefore man can know what is right and what is wrong. Give thy servant therefore understanding heart to judge thy people that I may discern between good and evil. For who is able to judge this thy great people? For B, man is special creation, higher than animals, man is created in God's image. We've got a soul and a body, but we've got the Holy Spirit with us, otherwise we wouldn't have been created in God's image. That was the last thing he blew light into us. And that means that's the third thing that the animal doesn't have. An animal cannot understand between right and wrong. You can, you can teach it. Do this, but that is actually instinct. If you hear this sound, you do this. Okay? It doesn't, the animal doesn't understand. We understand it. That is where you can get the three parts. The body, the soul, and the spirit. And that's the same as God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. God created a helper for Adam. Not a servant for Adam. A helper. That helper is the same translation in the Hebrew and the Old Testament as in the Greek and the New Testament Jesus came down. And 
serve as a helper for men. Now, if Jesus was beneath man in creation humanity, uh, then we really had a problem. Therefore, that helper is a helper, not a servant. And it's equal. Okay? It's equal. It's equality. And the Lord God said, it is not good that the man should be alone. And that is why there's a helper. Because all the animals was male and female. They, if you can call it, they had friends. But there was not a friend like that. For Adam. So Eve was created. To help him. She's got this, she's a bit more feminine, but it's to help him, to assist him what he must do. He should not be alone. I will make him a help meet for him. The human species were created to follow with God. He created them for the purpose in his image. Both of them. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. God, God walked with them in the garden. He talked with them. He walked and talked together. There is fellowship that we already discussed. He was there. You cannot hide. Who is God? What does God hate? Why is man created in his image? Know that part. God created all things. God knows all things. God hates sin. God loves man. God created man in his image for fellowship. That is the points that are actually discussed now in the whole chapter so far. That's the main points. God created all things. God knows all things. God hates sin. God loves man. God created man in his image for fellowship. God does not hate the sinner, he hates the sin in the person. He doesn't hate the person. Chapter 2. Sin and Satan. Man has freedom of choice. Look, Jesus make, made answer and said, a certain, man, well, a certain man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and he fell among robbers, which both stripped him and beat him and departed, leaving him half dead. And by chance, a certain priest was going down that, that way, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side, and in like manner a Levite also. When he came to the place and saw him, pass by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan has his journey, as he journey came where he was, and when he saw him, he was moved with compassion, and came to him, and bound up his wounds, pouring on them oil and wine, and he set them him on his own beast, and brought him to an inn, and took care of him. And on the morrow, he took out two pens, and gave them to the host, and said, Take care of him, and whatsoever thou spendest more, I win, I come back again, will repay thee. There's a great, actually a bigger message behind that passage, bigger one. Because if you look at the cultures, what happened, um, uh, there's a quite big message, but that's a dull sermon to do the whole message on this very nice. Right, see I have set before thee, and day life and good, and death and evil. I call heaven and earth to witness against you this day, that I have set before thee life and death, that we just read, mm. that there's a difference, life and death. The blessing and the curse that we just read a bit earlier on. God gave us freedom of choice mm. that we discussed. Fellowship with Him is only possible if you choose to have fellowship with Him that we discussed. You've got to choose which side you want to go. It is a gift of freedom. He loves us. We should return that love to Him. If there wasn't freedom, you were like a... Uh, Chest, play, mm. shifting. But we've got freedom. And because of the freedom, the fallen angels chose, chose the wrong way to go. That's, that's what happened. So we've got freedom of choice. For A, in this passage, a Jew does not want to eat with or be seen with any cemeteries. The priest and the Levite passed him by who were in a Jewish culture. That was part of the tribes, okay? 
The Samaritan, who is the culture's view, was not forced to help him, but he did. He chose to help the Jew. Because it was a Jew like this. Okay. B. With the election of the leader in democratic countries, you have the freedom of choice who you will vote for. You have the freedom to choose and must take the consequences of your choice. So if you choose going straight, it's your choice. You're going to have the consequences. I don't want to be there. Thank you. When we follow with God, He knows we love Him. And He will help us. Uh, Satan wants man to dis disobey God. And God saw everything that he had made. And behold, it was very good. There was nothing wrong with it. There was nothing wrong with it. And there was evening and there was morning, the sixth day. For if God sp spared not angels when they sinned, as I said, the fallen angels. If God didn't spare these angels, <laughs> what's the more for us, eh? Hey? But cast them down to hell and com committed them to pits of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. Now the sin was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Ye have God said, Ye shall not eat of any tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, Of the fruit of the tree of the garden we may eat, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the garden midst, uh, midst of the garden, God has said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the servant said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as God, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was a delight to the eyes, and that the tree was to be desired to make one's voice, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat, and she gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. Mm -hmm. What happened then? Man, as a human race, wanted to be as a god. And isn't that exactly what today with money is happening? They want to be in control. And it's not that you will not perish, you will die. Mm -hmm. So God was right. Mm -hmm. Your spirit will die in hell or in heaven. Mm -hmm. So again, Satan was deceitful and Eve and Adam is not only Eve and is not only Adam, both of them made the choice to take it. Eve told Adam and Adam said, okay, fine, we go for it. Mm -hmm. So it's both of them. Not only the one. Both of them make the choice. Not only one. Both of them make the choice. And they will die. And no marvel, for even Satan fashioned himself into an angel of light. An angel of light. So I don't know. I don't know if it's like in in context with what we are talking about now, mm -hmm. I'm just thinking, is, is it sin to um, use birth control? That's a very long decision, or discussion, not decision, discussion. I went into that when I wrote the youth book. There's some of birth control um, medication, contraceptives that actually allow the cells to bind, to join, and then it's actually alive, and then only it gets killed. I believe I didn't know that. I only, a few years ago, 2011, 2012, when I started researching, I found that out. Then you get the concept of medication that just does not allow the cells to get together. So there's not a... a, a, a what they call it, the ovum, uh, in, what's it in English? Fertilization. Yeah, fertilization, they call it the ovum, I don't know exactly what's oh, in English. Yeah. Uh, what the English, okay. So personally, <coughs> it's difficult to say, can I say yes, 
the fact that they come together and then only get uh, killed through the medication. I think that's wrong. But how many of the women today know that? It's 2018. It was 2011, 2012 around that I only found that. Okay. So, Jesus also said that the unknown sin that you do will be forgiven. He's got grace. Because you're not aware of it. And if you're aware of it, don't use that medication because the doctor will be able to tell you what, if, well, if it's worth something, which one is he using. But some people are using the birth process to control the period. Yes. That is most for the use of the period. And some people use a birth test. For medical for, 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 for the skin. Yeah, for the skin, skin youngsters and things, yes skin problems or like if, if, if you, you have your period in a period they want to stop then yes. you also have to put your yes. birth control to stop that is totally, yeah. uh. that's totally another reason mm -hmm. but the, uh, if I just stood it right the real reason was the fact that there is birth control that the, the babies is not no, but developed but what do you mean birth control but, 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 but is it some yeah. wrong, wrong. Yeah. is it some in, 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 if you, if married, you use birth control before you married, yes. No, I'm talking about in marriage. In marriage. We Personally, okay, that, I don't think this specifically mentioned in the Bible, but what is mentioned in the Bible is if you, uh, when you are conceived, you are alive. And to bring that over or whatever you call it down, I believe that's murder. And murder is sin. But if you use birth control, the right one, that the, the two cells doesn't join, I don't feel it's personally wrong. Because we cannot afford the children going on with the children anymore, 12, 13, 14 children. We, we cannot do that no, anymore. What in case of but, uh, uh, sorry, but so, th so that's why I would me. say um, birth control in marriage with the right contraceptives, I don't think. That's my personal okay, but the other thing is this, what in case your, your partner, your married lady, yes. your partner is, was, was unfaithful to her. And she got pregnant? No, no, oh, okay. pregnant. And, and now, I just, and now it's like a HIV or whatever. Yes, yes. You don't want to leave your husband. Mm -hmm. So now what now that place because you God will mark the righteous if you righteous because you must now use protection to protect yourself. Yes. You God will mark right this that's unrighteous and <coughs> if they give face off over and say I'm wrong if, no because you, have, you if you are willingly to stay with that person. Mm, but you I can say there's nothing wrong. Protection -wise. Yes, you need the protection you, you but there's a why. reason. There's a reason. You know why? Because a lot of people I was uh, a lot of people, honest ladies, is in trouble yes. because of husbands. The husbands. I know personally about so people now, like that. Yes, I'm, so I'm now, I, I just talk about because the condom. Because I'm counseling, yes. I just want to talk about the condom. Yes. Will God uh, punish you if, if the lady used, uh, rather than the husband, use a condom? No, I don't think so. Because? No, I don't think so. You, you know, you know, I just want to tell the story. Yesterday I woke was now past there in my road. Yes. I walked to the station because I had to meet somebody. Mm -hmm. And when and there was a car standing there. I thought maybe the car was standing there. And when I looked into the car, the, the picture, it was so short to me. So that's really mm -hmm. the man in the car. Mm -hmm. Now I told my husband, you know, so innocent. That maybe this true. man. Sleeping with this lady here, yeah. he's going back to his wife Why? now. Yes, that's and, and that is innocent people being that is sin. That is You sin. see now? Yeah. That is sin from the male, is, uh, but the female will, will not be punished. No, but that it. lady maybe sees a problem. Oh, yes. 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 yes, I think about yes. your own car even. Yes, but yeah, to, no, to that does to, happen. To come back to this whole thing, I might get this whole thing wrong. <coughs> because I plainly put my view mm -hmm. upon this one scripture in Genesis 1 30 mm -hmm. go ye and multiply mm -hmm. and be yes. fruitful yes, but you so 
So, so I, I base my argument and my view upon this one thing. I might be wrong. That's why I'm asking you, is it sin? Can I, can I? I'm not finished yet. I'm not finished oh, oh, okay. I've been away for how many weeks, so I need so to get my... To to I need to get my story right. On that one scripture. So, don't you prohibit or block the chances of multiplying and increase and be fruitful and all these things when you use all these protective measures, your condom, your um, depots and all these things. Okay. So, I might be wrong, but according to me, from Genesis to Revelation, it's relevant. Right. So when God gave that uh, instruction in Genesis, it was before or after this call of sin? Before. Exactly. So isn't it still part so of the... You of are the still order? multiplying, but remember, before the fall, we were directly followed by, with, with God. It is totally something else. Uh, the whole, as you, uh, when you join us with the, with the Bible study on the shadow images, you will see what's happening. And yes, you're still going to marry somebody and you're going to be fruitful. To keep you a woman then from uh, being fruitful, then I tell you it's a sin. But, so, it, but, so it's not sin to use? I, I, I will to not use. say it's sin. No, because, because uh, if we take one thing as a sin, our whole life is a sin. Remember that even your thought is a sin. Mm. It is a sin. Exactly. So, and you cannot take one verse and put it right through if there's changes in the New Testament. You cannot, if you, you as a male, if you really go into a marriage life, what you're supposed to do, and what is happening today, what the real story is, you are supposed to take care of the family. If you got 20 children with your job you've got now, will you be able to get, get, take care of them? Equal. <laughs> well, you will you be able to do that? There's a possibility. <laughs> with your salary you've got now, 20. What about God? <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> with our credit cards and things, will you be able to do that? That's a possibility. The wife must also just work. No, 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 no. no. Ah, but that work. is not supposed no, to be. No, that is not supposed the to work. The wife is not supposed, supposed to be. She's supposed to be at home. And she's yeah. supposed to be at home. Yeah. That is what she created for. Um, um, no, it's, make, it's going to be start making difficult. Yeah. Will you be able to give them shelter, clothes, food, education? Oh, I'll tell you one, two, I will propose. I will love you like a woman. You see, and that's the difference. My father was a family of 12 children, with the team, and they could, they could do it. That time. That time. Wow. You won't be able to do Hold it now. And remember that time, uh, biblical terms, it was not one or two or three children, it was quite a lot of children. Sure. But we cannot do that anymore because what's going to happen? We've got to sin. You're going to push on sin to feed your families. You're going to start anger your whole. So you must look at the whole sin scenario. That's what I'm saying. That's a very long discussion also. Mm. Personally, if you've got a right contraceptive, there's no life if it's not joined together. I can go further into it, but I don't think I'm going to do it now. Yeah. There's no life when it's joined together, if it's not joined. If it's joined together, like this abortion it's is wrong. Abortion then is you murder. Me. It's wrong. Yeah, that yeah, is totally, that's wrong. Because that's murder. Okay. Go, okay. On. go on. Right? Okay. okay. <laughs> Uh, it's a fine. Okay, but, but then just to, to quickly answer, because we can't have it too long as <coughs> Sorry. Mm, to oh keep, it, keep in context. We can discuss that mm, on, the on the other evening when we discuss other things and just chatting, we can oh, do that. Okay. okay. Uh, and the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where are also the beasts of the false prophets. And they shall be tormented day and night forever and forever. The false prophet. 
The people is giving you the false messages, is led by the false prophet. And brimstone, Sodom and Gomorrah were burned with brimstone. And in the revelation it said again, it will be consumed with fire, consumed with fire. from heaven. And that's brimstone, that's the same that came in Sodom and Gomorrah. Then shall he say unto, unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye curse, under the internal fire which is prepared for the devil and his angels. If there's eternal life, there's eternal fire. Remember that. Some people believe after the fire won't be so, so long because it's, it's uh, God, but no. If there's eternal life in heaven, there's eternal fire forever. It's the same thing. It's eternal. And there's no grace if you're there. Alright, let's go quickly. God created all things good, even Satan was created good, who became evil. He was an angel. He was God's beloved. One of his favorite angels, best angels, not beloved, but beloved son. Okay? But God created all things good, even Satan was created good, who became, became evil. The angels were also created with freedom of choice. They were created all good. Bad angels were sent to hell because they sinned. Disobeyed God, Satan and others with him. God is holy and separates himself from sin. So what will you do with the human? Mm -hmm. If you do that with angels. Mm -hmm. Okay. If he does that with angels. Adam and Eve sinned because Satan lied to him. Satan is against everything God wants. Satan's name means enemy and therefore he will try everything to pull you away from God, to disobey God, God go against God's commandments. He is still at work today. Not only the Satan, he's still at work today. We are living in the world. We are not from the world. Because Satan is ruling the world at the moment. When God comes with judgment, a new world and a new heaven, Stop. earth and heaven will be there. Okay? And Satan will not be there anymore. So that is where I explain the angels, the good and the bad angels. They disobeyed God, so they were sent into fire. Adam and Eve sinned because Satan lied to them. Satan is against everything God wants. That I said already. The, uh, this teaches us to obey Satan and disobey God. This is sin. Mm. To obey Satan in anything, disobey God, is sin. What is sin? If you obey Satan and disobey God, it's sin. Mm -hmm. Satan changed himself from a snake to an angel of light. Right. That is called, he will be an angel of light. So he's false because Jesus is our light. Yes, yes. So he's trying to be like Jesus. Yes, yes. An easy way to tempt people. He appears in many ways and forms. It is not easy to recognize him. He can come as a friend giving advice or as a friend giving news about another person, he puts thoughts in your mind that's wrong in what you hear and read. What he says sounds true, and that is because he is clever. But because you've got the Holy Spirit, you will question the things coming to you, and you are more, you have more wisdom than him because you've got the Spirit with you. Do not allow thoughts of people or things. Go and look for yourself. What does God's word say? Not who said and know that must be the truth because it was said by this and this doctor, professor, whatever the person is. It is not in God's words, it's not in God's word. It's not true. And nothing will change God's word. So there cannot be a prophecy now that will change something in God's word. It's not it's, that's not that's not biblical of things. He will not go against his own promises. Remember that. God has defeated Satan and eternal punishment shall be the end for Satan and his followers. Oh, I don't want to be part. I don't want to be part of that. Thank you. My God is loving, loving enough. I would rather go for the love. Okay. Man choose to disobey God. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. All will like uh, all 
We like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. We're doing what we want to, what we think is good. Would not having seen ye love, or would thou not ye see him not? Yet believing, ye, ye rejoice greatly with joy unspeakable and full of glory. That joy that I just spoke of yes. inside you that you have, that the others doesn't have, doesn't matter what happened to you. You know God knows what's going on. You know God knows it's the truth. Mm -hmm. Because you will have people saying things that is not true and that you didn't do or didn't say, and that will make others believe that is who you are and that is not who you are. But God knows who you are, and that is make, that does give you joy. Now the works of the flesh are manifest. Which are these? Fornification, uncleanness, lashing, uh, lasciviousness, lavishness, adultery, 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 sorcery, enmities, strife, jealousies, wraths, function, factions, divisions, heresies, envies, and so we got on drunkenness, reviling days, drunkenness, they uh, said, if you drink and you get drunk by alcohol mm. constantly, if you're drunk, if you're drunk, it's mm. sin. Revilings and such like, and such like. Right. With other words, drunkenness, drugs, sex addiction, that's like that. As a like, not only that, things that as a like the others. Of the which I forewarn you, even as I did forewarn you, that they will practice such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. That's not what I say. It's what, it's what God says. If you are a drunkard mm. and you say you are a, a, a believer, you're you are saying believer. it's not true. Because if you are drunkard, you will go for help to rear, to turn in God's way. That's not what I say. Mm. That's standing there in the Bible, Galatians. Okay, that's not my words, that's God's words. Romans 3 verse 23. Mm -hmm. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Adam and Eve were the first to disobey God. They sinned. All people sins then sinned. Disobey God. But God does not compare us with other men, but He compares us to His oh, own righteousness. righteousness. God is not comparing us with each other. Mm. Remember, we've got different circumstances. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and we lie. Okay, that we discussed mm. with the, the, we've got sin. It doesn't matter mm. what the case is. There is one form of sin in you. One form of sin in you. We are immoral, filthy with indecent actions. Worship idols and witchcraft, become enemies and fight, become jealous, angry, are vicious, separate into parties and groups, are envious, get drunk, have orgies, all that stuff. It's sin. And that's, isn't that what's going on in love? You get angry. We can choose to listen to Satan who makes us sin. Also things we do not do can be sin also. That is things, not doing what we know we should do, is also sin. Mm. If you do something wrong, and I do not tell you, this is wrong. You also follow up. Because we yeah. doesn't mm. tell him mm. it's sin. Did you know that? Because probably that person didn't know that. That it's sin. In today's laws, there's a lot of uh, things. And you don't, don't know always, for instance, that it's a law, you may not do this, you may not do that. The same thing, there's a lot of people that doesn't know the Bible like me and you, yes. but it's, it's, it's people that's co uh, convicted in Christ. Please? Um, but <clears throat> in today's life, you also won't dare to say, for instance, even at work, you can't for hours. Mm -hmm. Yes. They will, they will definitely destroy you if you try to, or dare to tell someone that. Yes, yes, but now, but now if 
Um, you, yeah. you are a follower it's, and it's, true it's, Christians. It's, it's between us. That it must, if there's a real Christian in your work and does something wrong according to God's word, you must be able, she must be able, to be able to tell. Remember, 99, no, I can't say 99. 95%. <laughs> I don't know what percentage. Are the people around you is not true Christians. Mm. It's so-called Christians. No, but what we want to tell you now about now. You know what's about the bosses, as you say about the bosses. Mm -mm. It's most legal at, at us, because it's yes. legal at our work. Yes. So now, when I am working, it's most my job as a registered nurse to administer medication. Sure, yes. Well, God punish me if I give that medication because it is prescribed mm -hmm. according to I was in the other, in the other hand, okay, this is maybe not a clear answer, but on the other hand, God also said, whose face is on this coin? Yes. yes. You are forced to do that. Um, personally, me, my person, the world is going to go wrong. Mm. We cannot always, as I say, there's some stuff that we, they're going to go totally against God. Mm. The whole, that's going to happen. How long will you be able to endure the wrongdoing before you're not going to go on with it? Because, because that is not your choice. Mm, because many times, I, before I give the medication to the person, I ask, are you sure you want to do? Do you know what you're doing? Child? Yes. I was sure, do you know God is not satisfied with yes. this to do this? You, that, do you know it's wrong when you do this? Yes, you did your part. Mm. You told him you did your part. What that person chooses is not your mm -hmm. concern. So that's all it's not your concern. It's they, no. If I tell them it's, it's not your choice. It's not you that decided to abort. Mm -hmm. That's the person that decided to abort. It's on that person, not on you. Because you must say I'm going to be other places yeah. today. Mm -hmm. On a Monday, Thursday, you know, it's going on. Otherwise, we're going to. Yeah. No. So uh, that is not your choice. Mm -hmm. That was their choice. It's not your son. It's their son. So remember that also. Mm. It wasn't your choice. Okay? So going on we can choose to listen to Satan who makes us sin. Also things we do not do can be sin. Also remember that. That is not doing what we know we should do. It's also sin. Mm. Love your neighbor as yourself. So. God is first. Man is responsible for his sin. No one else. You cannot take the, the, the guilt on you. Mm. That was that person's choice. Okay. And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me. See, he tried to move blame. the sin. Blame. He blamed someone else. But he mm. made the choice. Okay, so he shifted. She gave me of the tree. And I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent gave me. And I did eat. Blame the next one. Shift it over. Shift it. And it's not accepted. That was the fall of sin. Okay? It's not accepted. Mm. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father, neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. Satan deceives man. God saw Adam and Eve sin. He can see you too. Adam blamed Eve and Eve blamed Satan who deceived her because of the fruit they ate. They knew what was right, but they disobeyed. It was their choice to eat. It was their choice. They were responsible for what they did. And God punished them. The snake was made the lowest of all animals and Eve would have pain in giving birth and they still had. To children, Adam would have to work hard to form in order to get his food. Yes, I know your story. Here's <laughs> your answer. Here's your answer. Okay, that oh, is the curse as we can call it between male and female. Yeah. She will give birth oh. 
and you have to look after your family. And that's everything except what's happening to, happening today because today, you know, like, yeah, we can't even live with, with our food. Yeah. And with the family in today's life, so the amount we work and the money we get and the so food prices is not equally. Yeah, it's not equally. When you are old enough to realize what you do or did is wrong, it's so, sin. When you're old enough. Mm. There's some children that's already seven, eight, nine that can, can discern between right and wrong. That child can be saved there and be baptized if that person understands what it is. Mm. Some people only understand much later in their life what is it. So there's no age to when you can be saved or baptized or anything like that. There's some churches, um, like the in here just got, um, I think 70 or 80, they got this uh, courses. Yeah, um, the, uh, and then they get be ex Yeah, uh, uh, that is not what the Bible said. Mm. Okay. If you know you are wrong and you understand it, doesn't matter how small you are, if you understand it, you can be saved. Mm. And that okay. That's nicely marked again. Eh? Satan wants us to sin and not to feel sorry for our sins. He wants us to enjoy disobeying God, therefore. He tells lies. It is easy to say everyone else is doing it, so it must be alright. That's Satan's view. So everybody is... Uh, Everybody is taking a dog in the weekend and get drunk so I can do it also. And they, they are elder at the church, so why can't I do it? Mm. Or they are pastor at the church, so why can't I do it? Mm. Be careful for that. Be careful for that. That's leading you in a wrong way. Direction. The one whose sins will die, not because of anyone else, but because of his own choices, he or she makes. You cannot blame it. On someone else. That's also more, okay? Mm. The results of sin are serious, but your iniquities have separate between you, separated you, between you and your God, and your sins have uh, hid his face from you that he will not hear. For the wager of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. But for the fearful and unbelieving and up abominable and murders and fortifications and sorcerers and adulterers and all liars their part shall be in the lake that burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death that burneth mm. with brimstone fire that is the second death that is totally lost you do not have a second chance so your first death is your fish fleshly death and your second death will be if you go, if, as we call it, to hell. Mm -hmm. And your eternal life is forever living. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of a brimstone, where also beasts and the false prophet, they, that verse we said, we also quoted just now, shall be tormented day, night, ever, forever, ever, ever. I don't want to be there. The beside all this, between us and you, there is a great guilt fixed that they which would pass from hence to you may not be able, and that none may cross over to these to us. That's Abraham and Lazarus, that they, you won't be able to cross over to the other side. That is the final decision. If your soul is lost, it's lost. If it's eternal, saved, it's saved. You cannot afterwards try and cross. That's the word. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ, Jesus our Lord. Mm. That's the only way to have eternal life. Mm. That's the only way. With sin, you fall short of the glory of God. Sin is ever, every, sin is every serious, very serious, sorry. The evils of sin is sorry, are sorrow and suffering. In our world, death, likes, hate, wars, injustice, sickness, hunger, and poverty. God did not create the world like that. It became evil with the sin of Adam and Eve. He did not create that. He did not create poverty. That's because of sin. 
Sin brings eternal punishment in hell. God is holy and without sin. So if you have sin, you cannot fellowship with God. It destroys our fellowship. Therefore, constantly you must ask the Holy Spirit to refill you. Day and night, I mm -hmm. say, please refill you. You're not saved once you receive the Holy Spirit and never need to ask him again. Day and night, God said you must pray. So he was asking to refill you constantly during the day also. Otherwise, you fall astray. You will fall astray. The sin uh, results of death. Another kind of death, not the physical death. The death comes from sin and called the second death. This death is the sinner. Uh, is for sinners the hell. The hell is a lake of fire and the sinner will be tormented forever and ever. It is eternal punishment. No way out. It is forever. Just giving the points again. Therefore, sin brings eternal punishment in hell. And there we look at the, quickly the points. The severe seriousness of sin is, it's important to remember, sin destroys our fellowship with God. Sin brings eternal punishment in hell. Hell. Okay. The, Bible, the Bible. The Bible is the Word of God. We can prove now that the Bible is the Word of God. Now in this verse, that's not prophecy of Scripture, is of private interpretation. It stands there. For no prophecy ever came by the will of man, but man spake from God, being moved by the Holy Ghost. Every spirit inspired of God is also profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for instruction, which is in righteousness. Everybody for instruction, for improvement, for correction. You can all do wrong. Tell the person to correct you. Brethren, if it was needed that the scripture should be fulfilled, which the Holy Ghost spake before the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was guide to them that took Jesus. If any man will have to do his will, he shall know of the teaching, whether it be of God or whether it speak from myself. God reveals himself to man in the Bible. Mark that point. God chose the writings of the Bible. He told them what to write through the Holy Spirit. They did not write it by themselves or their own knowledge. The wisdom of God was in them. Therefore, God put the message in man's mind and he inspired them to write and what they must write. Mark that, mark that also. Therefore. Um, therefore, yeah. Remember, or Yes, remember. If you go and say, I, I think I said that before in other classes, remember, I, I really experienced it because I listened to it in audio. If you take the, from Genesis, you listen to the Bible in audio like a storybook to Revelation. It follows like a storybook on each other. There's no man on this whole earth ever except Christ that could have done that. Because it followed from before Christ right through to John the Lost um, Apostle and still there's no contradiction. Who can do that? Mm -hmm. And it's proven by ex external biblical stuff. Also in history it's proven. It's written down. Okay. There are no errors in the Bible. All is true. Because it's God inspired. But this can be proven because Many prophecies in the Bible have already come true. That was in the Old Testament, it is prophesied in the New Testament. If you look at Revelation at the moment, we are already in Revelation. We live already in that era. Okay, so that's coming true. History also proves that the Bible speaks the truth of the history. We saw it. It's happening. It's the truth. It speaks to our hearts, tell us the will of God, and if we obey, we will know the Bible is the will of God. As we go through, we will know and see that it is the way God speaks to us so that we can understand what God wants from us. How to understand Him, how to live, how to fellowship with God. He wants a relationship between us. He wants our love. He wants to walk with us. Okay? 
We will understand that if we go through and learn and get wisdom. The main message of the Bible is Jesus. If you look at, uh, as we discussed already, from the bondage and the blood from there to the New Testament, we've got the private discussion on that, it is a mirror image, shadow image, from Christ in the New Testament, from the Old Testament. So right through, Christ was actually putting through, right through the Bible. It's the main factor, if you can call it like that, person, individual, divine entity of the Bible. And I will put in between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, it shall bruise thy head, and it shall bruise his heel. That is the believers and non-believers. But thou... Bethlehem, Ephraim, which art little to be among the thousands of Judah. It's a, it's a small town. Out of thee shall one come forth unto me, that is to be a ruler in Israel. I've got, I found a book that was written, that's now recently written, that got the, the Jewish background of the written book of John in the Gospels. And if you see that background of Judah, out of thee shall one come forth unto me, that is in the truth of Israel. If you understand that in, in John, what is actually Bethlehem was a very small town and just was a certain type of Jew that nothing could come good out of that town. That is why they said that. There was a reason behind it. It wasn't just said. That town was really not a good town. So can there really come something good from there? Is it possible? That is what's being there. Okay, so you know the context it's written in. Goings forth are from the old, from everlasting. From old means from ever before to everlasting. Mm -hmm. That old doesn't mean the old man like we know old. Mm -hmm. It is from everlasting, from coming mm -hmm. to going. From everlasting path, you, uh, past you don't know going, internal life, that was ever. And that's Christ. So that shows again that this Christ is also like God. So it's one person, entity. Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall uh, uh, conceive. That was already in Isaiah, prophesied, mm -hmm. and it happened. And bear a son, and shall call me the name Emmanuel. Emmanuel. That's exactly what happened. And that was in the Old Testament. Again, for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon the shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And as we said, that was prophesied. It was not that time yet. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Who's the daughter? Zion. Oh. Daughter of Jerusalem, behold, thy king cometh unto thee. He is just. The daughter, the believers, mm. the same. And having salvation, loading, riding upon an ass, upon a colt, the fall of an ass. Again, that was a symbol in the Jewish culture, coming from one port into the um, Passover. That was a specific theme behind that. Ye, he said, it is too light. A thing that thou shouldest be my servant, shouldest be my servant, dress up the tribes of Jacob. And to restore the presentives of Israel, preserved of Israel, I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles, that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. Again, the word was brought to us through the Jewish religion. Not the person, the religion. The religion, remember that I dis uh, was a previous subject, but I said the Jewish culture was a godly culture. And they followed God. So all persons that followed the godly religion was a Jew. And through them, it was shown to us that it was not Jews. And now we still got Gentiles because we're Christians. But in actual fact, we are like the Messianic Jews also. But we are not the Messianic Jews because we, we don't know the Old Testament. We didn't live with them in the Old Testament. We were then 
not safe. By oppression and judgment, you was taken away. And as far as generations, who among them consider, uh, considered that he was cut off out of the land of the living, for transgression of my people was his chicken, and they made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death. Although he had done no violence, neither was he deceit in his mouth. A grave with the wicked and with his rich in his death. He was rich in power in Christ. Because it's Christ, he was rich in power. But if you really go in that grave story, uh, you will find out that the grave was actually a rich man's grave that was given off. So there's uh, two views there. Rich in power, but he really physically was laid down in a very rich, rich man's grave that was already bought. And that man was actually a Messianic Jew, but he was behind, uh, hiding from the Pharisees and the Sadducees, otherwise they would have killed him. He was part of them. And the Psalm of David, the Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand, until I make thine enemies thy footstool. God, is Jesus going to be on the right hand of God? And the sinners will be at the foot end. He will stand on it. And he shall judge between the nations and shall reprove many people. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning books. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. Remember, we were created to look after the garden and be fruitful. Mm -hmm. You will still do the same, but you will do it in you want to do it. Mm -hmm. It will be a pleasure to do it. There won't be such severe pain. It won't be such a angry sort of, oh, I don't want to go work. It will be nice working in the garden, being in the garden. Messiah means saviour. Remember that. Mm -hmm. And remember, you must know the different facts if I say true or false or fill in or something, okay? Messiah means saviour. He will defeat Satan and he did. That's what was said in the passages. He did. God gave the message to Machai in the altar prophecies already. In Isaiah it was said that he will be born out of the town Bethlehem. And <laughs> he was born from Bethlehem. Again, in Isaiah, he prophesies that he will be born from a virgin and she will call him Emmanuel. And that's exactly what happened. Zechariah said that he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Isaiah mentioned that he will ride into Jerusalem on a donkey. So, it was prophesied and it happened. It really happened. The servant who make, will make a light to the nations is Jesus. Where Satan come, try to be a light, there we see Jesus will be the light, not Satan. As I said, that he would suffer when he came to serve men. He was to serve men, uh, save men, sorry, to save men. He will suffer when he come to save men. This is exactly what happened. Um, he was sentenced with no crime, but they rose again from the dead. He is sitting on the right hand of God in heaven and will come again to rule the world with peace. The Old Testament prophecy came true in the New Testament. Mark it. Number 10. Number 11. Mark it. The New Testament gives his teachings and the beginnings of the church. Number 12. The New Testament tells us about Jesus, the Messiah, and Savior. The Bible is for all men.